Hello and welcome back to New Mystery of the Emblem. We are actually starting the game proper now. We are going to be playing Chapter 1. And I haven't actually looked at it at all. I don't even know what units I get. Drog. Okay, Drog's here. Aaron. Um, look, he, he looks interesting. I'm pretty sure that's the guy that I didn't take last time. But alright. Um, other than that, it's mostly our scrub squad plus... Oh, Gordon is still here. I thought he said he was going to leave, but maybe I misunderstood. Alright, but before... Well, actually, I did want to look at the map a little bit and see, like, what's going on. So there's a village, and Lorenz. Okay, so I believe I was told that he was recruitable in the last game. There was some general that I killed, like, late in the game. I think it's the one with the... Like, there's, I think there's, like, him and his brother, and one of them has an eye patch. Well, he has an eye patch, and I think his brother doesn't. And I think he was, like, had, like, a, like oddly low stats. And I was like, oh, well, I guess, uh, you know, the bosses are just not as leveled on, you know, whatever difficulty. And it turned out that he was recruitable. <laughs> um, so maybe he's recruitable again? It seems like he'd be a lot better, at the, like, at this point. Like, a lot, lot better if he was recruitable. So maybe he's only recruitable in Shadow Dragon, or I don't know. I guess we'll... Maybe we'll find out. But... Oh, this is interesting. Um, wonder if reinforcements come out of there. Wouldn't be surprised. But anyway, before we get into that too much, let's talk to people. Hooray! The first time you've been outside of Altea. Well, I guess in this form. Yes, we certainly did. The general and the people were not to blame. I, is he talking about Lorenz? Oh, okay, he is. Right, okay, so they're not just telling you straight out. He's governing Grust? Okay. Who was in charge of it before? Some don't actually know. Is that what... Let's see. Michaelis was in charge of Macedon. There's also Gra. I don't remember. Well, maybe we'll find out what's going on in this country. How are the new knights? I'm sure that's not true, Jagan. Ah, hello. You have a weird face. Probably shouldn't say that out loud. You know this game has growths? <laughs> I wonder if his growths are actually bad, comparatively speaking, or not. Mm, engrave it on your soul, huh? Alright, now let's look at what we really came here for. We don't get Sheeta either. Oh, no! But I can switch to a Pegasus. Yes! Alright, what's the deal? Plus, plus one speed, that's it? So my speed just sucks? Well, that sucks. <laughs> um, 
gain a bunch of res. Skill. I don't gain any lance rank, that's pretty sad. Still, I think being a flyer is what's up, so let's do it. We could change you too. Oh, we could change him into a Dra Draco Knight. But. Sure that that's better. Also got Drog. My recollection is, yeah, Drog as a mercenary is like an inter was like an interesting option last time. It wasn't amazing, but wow, 13 speed even as a pirate. Maybe that's even. I guess it depends on what, what the enemies look like, so I should really check that out first before I go messing with anybody else's classes. Do we not have a healer either? Oh god. Okay, um... Eh. Turn me into a healer. Two magic, sure. Despite the fact that I have three magic as a Pegasus? What? How does that make any sense? Clearly we should turn you into a bishop. Oh god, you only have three magic. And I, get, I assume everybody else has, like, no base magic, so I... You can't even turn it into one. Yeah, it's not really... I guess we're just gonna probably use vulnerabilities. Okay, let's see what's in Convoy. Did they? Did all of our stuff get dropped? It looks like, yeah, it looks like it did. So all the all the, our uh, other units didn't run off with all our weapons. That's good. And then we can access the armory as well. How expensive is forging? as it was before. It looks like it's the exact same price um, formula. Whee! Well, I'll think about that. Um, first, all right, we do have to deploy everyone, right? Right. All right, let's see. You've got an extra iron bow. We have additional steel bows. No, we do not. Well, suppose it doesn't. Probably matter too much, but I guess I'll leave Gordon with the steel bow. Alright, so you cannot even use that steel sword. You can use an iron sword. And you can use both an iron and a steel lance. I'm probably not going to actually want to give those to you. Well, I guess we do have the access to the armory now. Maybe, maybe we can actually buy something. Well, not steel weapons anyway. That's good to know. Does this have on map armories anywhere? I didn't see one, so I assume I didn't just miss it. No. Nope. Oh, wait. There's one. Okay, good to know. Alright. So yeah, Drog would like an Iron Lance, I guess, for accuracy. You can put those back. You can take an iron sword and a steel sword. So can 
you. Um, you can have a steel sword. So, if we did change Drog into a Merc or a Fighter, you wouldn't use, need the Steel Lance. We could trade that over to Shower, which I, you know, I to have a Steel Lance anyway, so I will do that. I guess I could give this Steel Lance over to Drog. Alright, you want an Iron Lance as well, and so do you. I think I'll go ahead and buy a couple of those. Alright, now, let's look at the enemies. So we've got, of course, Axes everywhere. Plus a hunter. Three. One hand axe, but otherwise... So, having Drog as a sword user would be useful just for weapon triangle purposes, if nothing else. Although, it doesn't make a huge difference, but... And then, like, the enemies are pretty much all 10 speed. And I think he goes to 14 speed, so he would double them. Granted, it would be useful to have an axe user against the boss, assuming that we can't recruit him. But... Yeah, he goes to 14 speed, so he would double. Um... need both an iron and a steel sword, though? Probably not. So... Maybe... Maybe being a Pegasus Knight with 9 speed on this map is not actually going to be a good idea. We can't use swords against all these... Axe users. Maybe we should be changing to a Pegasus later. I am concerned that that is, in fact, the case. Like, Cavalier gives us more strength and defense at the cost of no, no relevant AS. Yeah. Alright. But we do need... Steel Sword. I don't know that we also need an iron sword. I think we're gonna be able to hit things regardless. So I'm not too concerned about that. Yeah, so everybody can use a sword except our archers, which means we'll have weapon triangle all the time. So that's good. Um, so then the question is, should we forge something? And if so, what? Like, we don't have any special weapons to forge. Um, the only person who doubles right now is Drog. Would that change if we reclassed anybody else to something faster? So, like, if you're a Myrmidon, you're not doubling. You get one speed away. I mean, that could make sense. We lose we lose a lot, but if we gain one speed, suddenly we start doubling. And the cost is... We, all, we would double the archers, actually, or the hunters. Yeah, okay. Well, let me look at who else... So yeah, we can make you a swordmaster, and then you would double like crazy. 
That's not ridiculous either, really. Um, we take more damage. We're probably still not one hit KOing. I think those are overlapping swaps, though, so it probably makes more sense. become a Myrmidon, you would also have 13 speed. You would double, but you'd have 4 strength. You wouldn't double. You also wouldn't double. And you surely wouldn't double. Okay, me. So 4 strength... It's pretty bad. How bad is it exactly? I mean, it's better than 6 strength and 9 speed, arguably. It's just a, that we can only make so many people into these classes. But we, she'd, have a, she'd have 12 attack. Um, so she'd be hitting for like 20 damage. Her wouldn't actually have that point of speed. I mean, maybe it does make sense to, for it to be Cecile. If she goes from not doubling to doubling. Char doesn't quite. Um, Aaron would. But he can already do a lot of damage. I guess he actually can't do as much damage as Char, but like, whatever. I mean, the point is both of them can get stuff done without the changing over more so than Cecile can. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. I guess I didn't need to buy an Iron Lance. Oh well. Is there somebody else who particularly cared to have one? I guess you can take one. Um... Yeah. Okay, so then the other question... Well, I guess I should give out some vulnerabilities, but also... Probably not on Marth. Do still have an extra steel sword? Do we not have anybody who wants that? You can't use it. You can't use it. You already have one. Yeah. Alright. You seem like a good candidate to take one. Who else is relatively bulky? Marth. Actually. This team is pretty bad overall. You two are like identical. And then... She's not even going to survive a hit, is she? That's going to be the problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're just going to get straight up one shot. I mean, Drog is... Maybe Drog is too. 27 attack. Are they all 27 attack? Okay, no, Drog is not... Or, but, no. Because the, the weapon triangle only cancels out the... The bonus damage? But that, that is, in fa is factored in. Okay, yeah, so he will he will not get one-rounded. Okay, if you... Cecile, if you reclass back to Cavalier... Are you getting one-rounded? Yes? No, wait, you don't take any less damage because... The... Axes don't gain might from Weapon Triangle. Right, they only gain hit rate. So yeah, you guys are gonna be useless. That's cool. Um, but it also means that turning her into... Like, it's better for her to hit harder so that she can, like, finish in one hit. 
So actually, it doesn't even make sense for her to be a Marmadon. Okay. Well, in that case... I trade your lance away. Ah, what do you have? You're not probably going to use it. Or I could... Okay, so I'm thinking, now that I've realized that, Char is the one to go with. Turn into a Myrmidon. She can still hit pretty hard. If she gains one point of speed, she hit harder. She won't die. She's got lots of HP. So I think that's the way to go. Um... I think we have one vulnerary, one one-use vulnerary left. Yeah, we do. I guess now you can put your lances, which means you can have them. All right, so who are we giving it to? One of you two, I guess. Can we buy more vulnerabilities? I don't remember seeing them in the armory. Nope. Okay. Oh wait, I wanted to look at forging as well. So now that we... Well, drog doubles. So we could forge an iron sword. Get him doubling. Plus eight. So, how does that compare to his current situation? Uh, where are you, drug? Okay, so... 13 attack would go up to 21 attack. And he would totally one-round enemies. Okay, I think that's worth doing. stick with my policy of not doing it in this game. It was much easier when I was playing Teleus and I could do it, like, before I actually started playing. Alright. Save that, and probably do some repositioning. to just throw a drug out there because he's going to die. So what we got to do is front line with like these two, Marth, I guess our positioning really isn't that important because we're not going to advance on turn one anyway. I don't think. The fact that Drog one rounds means we can't... I mean, unless we put somebody who's even more fragile than him, but that person would die. Actually, he would die anyway. Yeah, so never mind. We're just gonna... We're gonna have to... play that a little bit differently. General Lang. Oh ho! Children of the Grusty and Royal Family. Well, it's not going to be done with that.
Okay, man. You know, I mean, literally just a year ago, he, like, won this big war. Like, I... You would think that would not just, like, count for something in, like, a moral sense, but also, like, be... Like, provide a person with a sense of caution about antagonizing him. I mean to stay by your side and service your tactician. Is Jagan really not playable in this game or something? Or what's I assume he is playable and it's just So, what we want to do, let's check damage here, jeez Louise, 20 damage. That is, that is so many damage, so many damage, okay, so, how many of these guys can we actually take on at once? Like, can we afford to lure this guy, or do we need to only lure these two? Assuming that they don't just bum rush me, which they might. I guess I'm gonna make the assumption that I can manage three of them if they don't bum rush me. So, we're gonna put you here. Oh, wait, before I do that, I need to check. So, you can move one, two, three, four, five, six. So, we're gonna need a line that's like four across. Oh. Oof. Either that or everybody else is gonna have to be further away. Well, either way. You go there, Steel Sword. You go there. Yeah, the first one should attack. Shara, which means if we put Marth here, Shara in the middle, then we should. It should be the case that um, we get these two running into these two and not them both ganging up on Marth, so we shouldn't need to put another person on the line here if we don't want to. Which we probably don't, since Marth does more damage and takes less damage. slip our archers behind over here and then the drag there and the calves So, pain is real. It's very real. Oh, they are gonna rush me down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Gordon survives, so that's good to know. Also, they didn't go for Marth. They went for Aaron. That's weird. So Drog can come in and smack one of these guys. It's 
really too bad that he gets one shot. Yeesh. Of course, he'd get doubled if he if I had left him as a knight, so it's not like that would be any better. Um, he can do 19 damage, so we need 13 damage to set him up for a kill there. So I'm wondering, like, can one of you guys do 13 damage? You don't have a steel bow. So Gordon with an Iron Bow could... Um, oh, 21 attack. I don't think there's anybody who's surviving 27 plus 21 attack. We kind of need Gordon to do is shoot this guy, I think. So maybe that's not even enough. Like, in theory, we hit this guy and then we can, like, finish him off with Marth, who's at. No, but then there's two guys that come down. Yeah, I. Ugh. Wondering if what I was meant to do was, like, pull over here and then these guys would still be out of range. I don't really have anybody... Like Aaron can finish a guy off. Shara can finish a guy off. Um, oh, it's the weapon level that allows that. Marth... can't. So chip damage plus... An attack would do would do for that. Oh wait, if we kill this guy, we're only facing the hunter. Never mind. Okay, it, it, yeah, never mind. Okay, this the situation is not as bad as I was thinking. Um, probably there's no reason not to just take these kills right now. Can't see one anyway. Well, if I'd known you were gonna do that. is the hunter. Nine speed. Okay, so he doubles Ryan, but not Gordon. Alright, how much damage do you do to this guy? Ten. So you should do thirteen, and that's enough to set up the kill for Drog. So I think that's what we're gonna do here. Or maybe... Well, no, because you can't get in range of that hunter and survive. I really need Drog to level up and get, like, HP or defense. Um, no, we don't have enough damage, do we? Definitely do not have enough damage. You can do 12 damage. Yeah, never mind. This is this is not not gonna do it. We can. Marth can do 14. So we'd still need 17 damage, which we totally can't get. Plus, uh, yeah, this is no good. No good. Okay. Hold on. I guess I could hope for a dodge, but I'm just gonna restart. And this time, I'm gonna do 
this so that we can back away more efficiently. Is there, there any other option that we have that's like gonna be... better here? I mean, we could certainly leave Char as a cav, and then she'd have more durability. Um, and hit harder. Um, we could make Aaron a swordmaster. I don't think he would one round that way. Let me check. So he'd have 16 attack. Yeah, he wouldn't quite one round, which is maybe a good thing-ish. Um, all right, I think... I think that is gonna make more sense. Let's try it this way. So. Um. You're still not surviving multiple hits. Not one rounding. I think what we want. Hmm. The fact that we have no healer, although not that any healer we'd have would be able to heal enough anyway. It's just like. We basically have to survive the initial onslaught and then vulnerate up and then, I don't know, this fort could heal us, but there's so many enemies in range of it that it doesn't really help, so... Yeah. Um... Yeah, what I'm wondering is who, if anybody, we want taking the hits on enemy phase. It's, it kind of doesn't matter because no matter who we pick, like they're out of commission in terms of being able to do anything but finish enemies for a while. We don't, in general, have enough damage to like use the archers to set up kills. Like we can a little bit, but with Drog and maybe Shower. I mean, if we pass the Forge Sword around, I guess that's something to consider. We might be able to swing that. Like, okay, so let's say, like, this guy runs straight down. He's, like, here. We, like, shoot him from here. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six. But where we shoot him from doesn't matter. What matters is, like... He's here, and then this guy is like. So you could, like, shoot, hit, shoot, trade, trade, hit, sort of thing. Hmm. Hmm. That's 
probably worth a shot. So let's do this. You go over here. You go over here. Um... You go there. You go... I don't know if I have enough places to put the calves. I definitely need Cecile not to get hit, so I guess I need to move her first. Yeah, I don't. So I have to let somebody get attacked. Five units and one, two, three, four... I have to let two people get attacked. Okay. Well, probably the people I least mind being damaged are Luke and Rhodey, so maybe we'll just do that. I don't know if I can actually deal with this, though. I don't know. This guy's out of range of our archers, which isn't great. I mean, we can definitely do a thing where we, like... Oh, this guy doesn't have enough damage this guy does. So we, like, hit him, trade the sword here, hit him, trade it here, hit him, or something like that, or the other way around. Hit him, trade, hit him, hit him, trade, hit him, sort of thing. We would have to do a little bit of damage to this guy. Or, well, maybe not, actually. Hold on. Char has 11 strength, so if we... We have her kill this guy. She actually can do it. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So we tr we what we ultimately then want to do... You take 19 from that guy, and you would take... Too much. Um... Uh, the problem is our... Because the archers can't reach this guy... Should have put them over here, or at least one of them, so that I could one-shot this guy. But I didn't, and so this is still kind of not happening. I think. If we had probably Gordon... Well, let's see. Ryan, you have 13 attack. So you would do 11 damage, leaving the guy at 21. That's... Alright. Steel Sword is... Is what? Is 8 might. And this sword is 13 might. So that's plus five damage. So you'd be one damage short. So we would need it to be Gordon. Gordon with an iron bow would be sufficient though. Okay. Um, so yeah, if we put Gordon 
where Drog was. The only problem with that is we potentially like can't get the sword where it needs to be at the right time, but we could trade that at the beginning. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm redoing this. far enough regardless, but let's uh, trade. You know, we could actually, we could trade the sword to Rody. Does that then he would do enough damage. So it's here and here are the spots where you get attacked. He does that extra damage. I think that makes sense. Alright, so we need Ryan out of the way. We want Luke here with the steel sword and Rhodey here with the forge sword and Gordon here and everybody else run cross So, ah, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so now we need Gordon to shoot this guy, but we might want to, or no, sorry, this guy. We might want to wait until we can trade the sword around, so let's hold off on that for a second. This guy only has 13 HP. Can somebody like you with a steel sword, not quite. Luke might be able to get that kill, though? Yes. Okay. Are we going to want him to trade again? Maybe. So... Um... So, plus five damage over a steel sword is what the... Okay, so that's too much for you. But you might be able to do this. Yes, you can. Okay. Um... I think that makes sense. I'm just trying to think about what comes next. We don't want to shoot this guy, so like, how are we trading this around? We might just have to have somebody like Cecile like step in and do whatever. Um, who else are we shooting? I mean, we can certainly have Ryan. Well, I guess the only person Ryan can usefully shoot is this guy, so why would we not do that? So, 20 damage. I think... Yeah, Char easily hits that. Um... You don't hit that. Okay. And you wouldn't either, because you also have 8 strength. Um... You have less strength, so you're not going to hit it. Don't think, yeah, you're in, you're gonna do that. You could do it, but we might as well save you for potentially a double. So I think, um, I think we go ahead and do this. Oh God, dude, please. <laughs> uh. 
Oh god. Oh god. Alright, well... <sighs> Why? Why do you do this to me? Well, we can trade the sword over to Aaron and have him one round this guy, regardless. It doesn't solve our question of how this guy's gonna die. And this guy has one more HP, which means the doubling would be more effective over there. Um, I am pretty sure, in any case, we're not gonna need to trade through whoever is hitting this guy, which was... Is that gonna be... No, Cecile didn't have enough damage, right? Right. So, Luke. Okay. Um... You do need the sword in order to even be able to... Okay, um, Cecile cannot take damage from this guy, neither can Drog. So it's got to be Marth or Char with the opener if we're gonna have Eren kill this guy. Um, I... Okay, 17... Well, it's gonna be more with the... Special Sword. You'd actually be doing 19. Yeah, all right. Let's, let's have it be Marth, I guess. Wait, what is Drog doing then? Maybe other way around. Maybe... You trade for the sword. He's not going to have a sword. Oh, well. Okay, and then... You can have Drog just take this kill with the Iron Sword. we need is seal to trade for the sword. We do nothing with it. I am realizing a problem with my plan. <sighs> Ryan needed not to miss, I think, because I needed that extra action that I had to take so that I could trade the sword to here, because I need to have Gordon uh, attack from here. Like, I need to have somebody trace for the sword, Aaron kills Gordon attacks, and then the other person isn't like the one who kills this guy, and I there's nobody who can do that because Ryan missed. So crap. I guess I have to re restart. Okay. Good stuff. As long as we're doing that anyway, let me. So might as well move it like this, because we know Gordon is going to be the one who's actually standing there. Um, what I'm wondering about is if I could have... Like, Drog ended up not able to come down here and attack this bottom spot, spot where somebody had taken more damage, because I put him up here. I guess I can fix that. Um, without needing to reposition anymore. Okay, so. Maybe what I should be doing is putting Rhodey here and Luke here so that the person who needs to hit, be hit with more damage is further to the right. 
That would probably make more sense. That would probably make more sense. Alright. You stay put. We want this guy's definitely going to be here, and this guy is definitely going to be here, and then this guy. The question is, where is this guy? Is it like here? Is he here? I think we. It's probably slightly more important than Ryan to be able to reach more things. I think actually, what I should do. Put Drog, like, here, and then Marth here, here, and Cecile here. He's got an extra point of HP now, I see. Does that guy also have an extra point of HP? That'd be pretty rude. Okay, so... This time they're stacked up over there. Whatever, I guess. Um, Alright, 19. So... You gain... Plus 8 damage, which is enough to kill that guy. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Whereas you cannot kill him. Ryan. Alright, Ryan is clearly attacking into this guy. So, let's just... Like, again, I don't think him trading this sword around is... Well... I guess... Somebody hits... Oh, it doesn't really make sense. Somebody hits this guy with it. But yeah, it doesn't... He doesn't get it any further than whoever attacks this guy from here if we don't use it on this guy, I suppose. So, yeah, let's just attack with him. Okay, you didn't miss. Good job. Um... So you would kill with the sword. Um, so we do need to get it up there. Which... I'm like, for instance, you would not. Yeah. And you would not... You would, but you've got other things to do. So, how do we swing this? I mean, maybe we do just go ahead and give Rody this kill. Just because we need somebody to take it. Guess so. That's a seal. Oh my god! <laughs> that is not what I meant to do! I picked the wrong pink-haired calf. No. That was embarrassing. Uh, okay. So once again, here, 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 
here, and you're here, and you're here, you're there, you're there, and there. Oh, he didn't have that point of HP this time, that's nice. And they did the did the other formation this time. I don't really know what governs that, but... Maybe it's random, I don't know. Okay, so... Still can't kill, but Luke can. And you can not kill that guy. Okay. I don't see much reason not to do this. And then this. Just kidding. Wrong archer. Alright. So you at plus 8 doesn't kill. You at plus 5 doesn't kill. Which means we are going to need... Char... With the sword. Um... Does that apply to both of them? That's not great. Oh no, Drog kills this guy with the sword. Okay. So we need... Sword kill, trade... Trade, sword... Ew. That's gonna be hard to swing. I sh... Hmm... Because, like, Rhodey is in the... Ah, uh, if he could get that kill, but he can't. Eh. Yeah. It's also the question of who's getting over to kill this guy. Aaron can do it, but we can't use him to double in that situation, which kind of means we need it to be... Well, I guess Cecile would work in if she could do enough damage, which with the forge she'd be doing 15 damage? No, 17 damage. I mean, she does survive against the hunter. then you should be able to do enough damage. You'd have to hit with the steel bow, though. Ah! I feel like I've done something wrong here, but I'm not sure what. If I'm not mistaken... I could just send Aaron to kill- oh no wait, Aaron needs the sword! Oh god, okay. So we need... Kill? Oh, we can't get it up and down, though. What did I do wrong here? Like... Even if Char had the sword right now, she gets a kill. We have to trade it out. We trade again here. That's like two wasted actions. Aaron gets the kill. We have to like we have to trade so many times. I don't. I don't see how. 
I mean, like, if I had used Rody to get this kill instead of Luke, then the sword would already be here, and we could trade it and, and attack. That would help. We took the damage with Char, then we could trade it with Ryan, and he could take this kill. Uh... And then... It would be like... I don't know. Let's say Marth would trade. Aaron would take... Kill. Then... How do we... Kill this guy? Alternatively, we trade... We start out by trading it here. Drog comes over and gets this kill. And then we, like, kind of trade it in the loop like that. I... Uh... I don't know. It seemed like it was... It should have worked previously, but now I'm... I'm not seeing the right order of operations. I mean, it could just be the fact that, like... This guy had an extra point of HP, which means that Rody can't kill him. Which means maybe we weren't meant to have Luke be the one defending here. Although, I don't know who else we would use? Marth, I guess. Marth has one more attack than Luke. So if we used Marth, Luke could get this kill, Rody could get this kill. We'd still have to, like, trade once, like, with Cecile, let's say, and then um, Ryan would come up, trade, hit, shoot this guy, and then uh, somebody... would kill this guy. Who would that even be? It'd have to be... Unless we could get the trade the steel bow around as well. Which I guess we probably could do? That might be what we need to do, actually. Because if we hit with the steel bow... here, we can trade... Like the steel bow as well as the the sword through to here to here. And then Gordon Oh no wait, how does Gordon get the steel bow back? Does he need the steel bow? Maybe he doesn't need the steel bow. Somebody has to do 18 damage. I think Yeah, you can't do it, but pretty much anybody else can. Pretty, although, given the space needed to be covered, it's pretty much sharper. Okay, okay, okay. Ugh. Let's just do this, I guess. Wait, which, who's gonna be? Oh, it's gonna be Marth. Okay, Marth's gonna take the damage on turn one. I suppose, how much damage? Yeah, it reappears. Might is too low. All right, so I still think we want the stronger hit over here. And the weaker one here. I still want it to be Gordon who's coming over there. I guess we have a little bit more maneuverability now. Isn't really what I was thinking about, but having Marth out front does help with that a little bit.
Okay, so. Do, 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 do. So, now we should be able to still have Luke take this kill. Would it be helpful to have him as part of a trade chain, though? Like, should we start with this one? Probably should start with this one, just in case. We need somebody to trade it to here, and then it goes to here, and it doesn't really matter because Ryan does that. Okay. Although I guess we might as well wait and make sure that's the case. definitely the case. Whoops, wrong archer. Ugh. He's totally gonna miss. No, oh, he didn't. Okay. Yeah, so let's go ahead and have you do that. Then all right, plus A is enough for you to get the kill. Um So we actually can trade the steel bow over through Marth if we want to. Well probably well no he can use a vulnerary while he's doing that. Yeah, okay. So... I guess I will. But for this attack, we shouldn't need it? Pretty sure. I feel a fool if I'm wrong, but pretty sure that's enough. Okay. That's not great. Okay, he can't actually reach me. Or. Oh, probably because of the mountain. Well, at least we do have. Oh, he's got a leaven sword? Ugh. Does it say at least we do have some lances? So this guy is not immediately threatening us, so we can kind of... <sighs> Lax a bit here. Um, we do still need to figure out how we're going to deal with this guy, though. With everyone getting doubled, except for Marth, who gets one shot. Okay... You don't get doubled. So, probably that's the answer. Sure seems that way. I don't think it's important that you be able to hit hard here. This guy doesn't have any defense to speak of. Oh, alright. 
I'll take that. That would really suck if... Another one came out and zapped him from range. I don't know what to do about that, so... I was like, we can't, like, block... ...thing. So why don't we... Can we lure this guy out this turn? We certainly could. Oh, we could also visit the armory. Javelins! Javelins! Oh my gosh! Okay, um... We can buy two whole javelins. I will do that, but I'm not going to do it right this second. Um... I need to figure out who I want to heal. I do kind of want to give chip XP or a kill to Rudy because he's close to leveling. I guess it'd be all right to level Gordon. I'm thinking Char is going to bait this guy up here. So I'm going to do this. Wait, the audio is like skipping or something. What's going on? Apologies for that. So the emulator is not entirely happy. Alright, let's just do like. You three beat this guy down, you heal, and you heal. Definitely we want Aaron to heal. Um. Oh, God. What the, heck? what the heck is going on? I don't think we have any more vulnerabilities in the convoy, because, yeah, the, the one didn't get teleported. So, who ended up? Oh, Drog ended up with one. I guess Marth is no worse off than Drog in terms of getting hit by a 13 speed guy, so I come over and trade for that Vulnerary and then. Heal him. And then. I'm guessing he's not actually gonna level off of this. Should I be trying to level. No. Ooh. Lance rank. I mean, he doesn't have a sword right now. Where did his sword actually go? Or is this the... I guess Drog has it, but technically. Whatever. Yeah, he didn't level. Oh, well. That's fine. strength. I will take that. Alright, why don't you buy us two javelins? Okay, nobody came out. That's great. I wonder if we're even allowed to move onto that square or what exactly. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to visit this house. As soon as Harden became Emperor, General Lens was banished and Lang's troops came crawling in. Oh. Stole your loved ones. Oh, was Camus the one in charge of? Camus in charge of Rust? That rings a bell. 
Oh, I should have sent Marth up this way. He's got to visit this thing. Uh, foolishness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No! Alright, um... Can you not kill this guy? No. Alright, I would rather give the kill to Rody, although he doesn't have a sword. Uh... How bad is your hit rate with an Iron Lance? Bad enough. What's... Whatever, let's just have Luke trade you his Iron Sword that he doesn't particularly need. Um... Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. Quite good, even. Okay, um... I'm just gonna start visiting some villages. I don't know if we're gonna be faced with more reinforcements. I don't know if these guys are gonna bum rush me at some point, so maybe what I should do first is... Use this save point. He's friends with the King of Talos? Okay. Uh-oh. The Royal Children from Lord Wendell. There aren't any young girls left in this country. In the entire country? That's pretty messed up. King Grust. Yumina and Ubello. Okay. Wendell saved them? You would think I would know about that since he was hanging out with me. I guess not. Okay, good. No shenanigans. So let's, uh, get Marth moving this way. I'm gonna trade his vulnerary over to Drog so that we can use that to heal somebody else if we want. Here, use Vulnerary again. And... Um... Probably doesn't make sense to... Oh, there's a guy with a hand axe. Hmm... Where's Gordon? Ten speed though? Don't get doubled, dude. Come on. Don't get doubled. Seventeen attack. You do survive, but maybe it would make more sense to send somebody in with a javelin. Alright, let's do this. You back up a spot. You come over here. Um who else we want to have a javelin, but let's do that. 
And, um... Oh, you can't use one. So that answers the question quite nicely. Should I go ahead and heal you? I guess. I'm not sure it's worth it, but... I really only have 14 HP before. Coming, huh? All right. Well, he thinks it is unsafe to go all the way up here. Obviously, the javelin is not really what we want equipped against these guys. Um, in general. 17 attack, or 17 damage taken, rather. Do, do either of you have particularly good avoid? Does anybody have particularly good avoid? I mean, you have 29. The fort gives 15. It's still, it's under 50% to hit, but you still only need to get hit twice, I assume. Yeah, that, that can't be right. Can't be right. So... sure about this. If we need to go one space further forward, and that's it, we can avoid getting attacked by more than two guys, and like, Shara survives if one of them attacks from range, which they would be forced to do if we just go like right here. So I guess that's the play, but... Oh, we need to put that vulnerary back. I guess you don't really need. An iron or a steel lance, particularly. Do I want to expose somebody else to the hand axe? That's the other question. Who has that other one use vulnerary? Do I not even have any anymore? Oh, you've got one. Okay, you two both have one. Like, if the hand axe guy wanted to come after, like, Rhodey instead, I think that'd probably be good. matters. Yep, here they come. Oh, gods. Oh, gods. Oh, we haven't even visited the village la visited the village la 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 Alicia. Huh. Okay, that makes me feel better, because I didn't really want the ten-year-old child. <laughs> I 
You can marry her too if you like. What? Oh no, she refers to herself in the third person. Oh, we got a healer. Okay, that could help. Maybe what is the thing to do before triggering all these enemies? I guess we'll find out. Um, okay, actually, let's, let's see what we can do here. So... If there wasn't this extra hunter back here, I think, actually, it's almost certainly the case that we need to just back up. Um... We can give the kill here to somebody like Luke on this guy, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, let's put Luke like on this house. You're gonna run further back. You have a vulnerary. I want. I don't want to like over retreat. You know. But they're gonna be able to hit Gordon. I think. Wait, is this guy gonna be able to hit Gordon? Maybe it's fine if this guy hits Gordon. Yeah, it's probably fine. Okay. Um, why don't you come over here? Actually, it might make more sense to have the healer heal you. And I'm assuming the healer has, yeah, crap magic as per usual, which means less healing than uh, a vulnerary, so... Okay, that was actually 10, so I guess it didn't matter, but whatever. fall back again, but Gordon might die. Oh, also that's the edge of the map. Can you one round a hunter with, yeah, you can one round a hunter with the, the good sword. can one round one of these guys with the good sword. That other hunter, though, I mean, I guess we can get maybe get enough calves into position to just hit him three times or something. Or can we even... Well, once this guy is dead, we should be able to... Oh, we won't be able to get anybody to the back spot, but maybe if we can get the sword over there, which we should be able to do by hitting this guy, and then this, we have to kill this guy too, though. We do have the two archers to help with that. It's so, like... Let's see, you've got the sword. So if we go like that... You don't even need it. Not that it helps, but... Because we still gotta trade it somehow. Um, so we don't need to kill this guy, do we? We can just surround him. 
So what we could do is get the kill here. Oh, we still need to trade the sword, though, which means we kind of do need to kill the guy. I guess killing him's not that hard. So, like, get, using the sword to do that. I was talking about Drog killing him, but I guess Marth can hit him and then Drog can finish him off without needing the sword. Okay, let's go with that. More strength and more defense and no more speed. Okay, so we're gonna have... You've almost leveled... I mean... I guess this doesn't really matter. We're gonna chip him twice anyway, right? Let's do it like this, actually. Not much reason to actually use the heal here, so... Okay, kill for... Luke, I guess. I actually need the Iron Sword. Gonna have enough damage on this guy. Twelve. And how much was that? Uh, Twelve plus eleven is twenty-three plus eight. Yes. Okay. So it'd be nice for you to have an iron sword to guarantee the kill, which I guess. Means I should. Well, you needed to trade for it anyway, I guess. So. Think about not using it, but probably better to just use it. I guess if I believed. Okay, so you did not get strength or defense, so Rody's just passing you up real quick. I guess if you believed that. Melicia. Oh, she has C rank staves! Okay, that's better than I was thinking. Or expecting. She's only level one. Okay, you know what? No, we should train her staff rank. Yeah, we should we should heal with her. Uh, I was thinking like the heal saves run out kind of quickly, but that seems too valuable. We should do it like this. Honestly, Aaron gets plenty of XP anyway. Um, Alright, so you're gonna go... Like that. That is the first combat Cecile has seen in this playthrough, I believe. I do believe that is the case. I also don't know that I've ever done this much weapon passing around in, like, anything that I've done Fire Emblem-wise. <laughs> it's been... quite something. Oh, but she has more heal might effect uh, might because of her weapon rank. I hadn't even thought about that, but that's probably why Ar pro part of the reason why Riz is so crap. Probably part of the reason. Alright, so at this point, all we should need to do is go... Yep. Oh. 
interesting. This wound. Okay, well, that was unexpected, but interesting, as I said. Really don't need to be moving all of our forces across like this, but whatever. Some reinforcements jump out, I guess that would be the reason, except in that case I would want to know, like, you know, that I wasn't moving my, too many of my weaklings forward. I guess, like, by that argument I should just leave Cecile back here. Okay, well, no reinforcements. I'm not sure where I would think they were coming from anyway. Aaron looks pale. Um, are they trying to tell me that, like, he has literally no growths, or, like, they're- because they're really hammering on that. Well, whatever. So... I guess I should have used the save point first. Whatever. It doesn't seem very likely that it's going to matter. Assuming Marth is going to be able to talk to Lorenz and we're not actually going to have to fight him, so I'm not really worried about that part. You know what I should have checked is whether the prices are the same in this armory as in the pre-map one. I know in some games they aren't. Alright, now, Marth, if you, like... Fight, okay, you don't die. So that's good. You know nothing. Arden would never do something like that. No one who wears a turban could be so dastardly. Wait, what? <laughs> well, that's not what I was expecting. I guess you can't recruit him. Jeez. Okay. Well, blah. It would have been nice to have somebody with that much defense and good speed too, but I guess that would have been too much to ask at this point in the game. Although it's not like they haven't had bosses where you recruit them and their stats are worse before, so. Yeah, alrighty then. Um, I'm a 14 out of 20. We do have, like, a another heal staff in the convoy, though. Yeah, whatever. I'm not going to worry about the pricing and the going back to the shop or anything. I'm just going to... Seize? Actually, wait. I want to know what my turn count is. Uh... How do I do that? 
12. Well, it's better than what I had in the first chapter of Shadow Dragon, although I think. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I also obviously spent a lot of time restarting. We get a men's staff, cool. Oh no. Where did he come from? <laughs> No, Macedon. But surely we'll get to recruit Minerva. That'll be cool. Wait, are they, like, actual units? I've literally never heard of them before. Like, I, I feel like I've at least heard the names of most of the units in this game, but I've literally never heard those names before, so I, my expectation is no, but they didn't have, like, you know, civilian sprites, although maybe they don't have civilian sprites in this game. Yeah, right. Jagan, very wise. All right. Um, I don't. No, no. Actually, let's let's do the story stuff now, so that we're ready to start the next chapter at the beginning of next episode. I was gonna say stop it now, but let's do this first. That looks very unpleasant. Influential General Ruka Marky? I mean, you know, not that I would be happy about it, but why didn't they just execute her? For that matter, why doesn't what's his name execute the kids? Like I I mean, you know, other than for a story convenience. Oh god, if we have to fight flyers right now, we're gonna get destroyed. Oh, he doesn't mean my <laughs> my speed stat. Oh man, it, or maybe he does. I don't know. But like, like here, have a speed wing. <laughs> like, let's we'll find out. Have you heard about how's everyone? Well, I've seen it on the screen. All the rage. Right. Well, I mean, that does sound a lot like the Awakening thing. All right, that will do it for this episode, for real, this time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time for Chapter 2. Until then.